Stop what you're doing. Big warning. Everything is about to change. If you go online, it seems like tech news is raining down from us all the time. But sometimes there's a story that's worth the hype. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Please go ahead and get those seatbelts buckled as we make our final descent into Maui. So I just got back from an insane trip to Hawaii uh, where Snapdragon was kind enough to sponsor this video and bring me out to witness history in the making. So they just unveiled something that I don't think anyone saw coming with announcements that's going to change computing forever in three giant ways. Instead of me telling you about this, let me try to show you, because I am who I am. I need some props. I'll be right back. <laughs> Biggest moments in tech. It's a bit rough around the edges. But you get the idea, it's all in here. If someone, say a lot of gray in his beard, was to make a book of the big moments in tech, a giant part of that story, at least a big chapter, would be the rise of a company called Qualcomm. Their name literally standing for quality communications transformed not just a communications world with cellular CDMA tech, but also mobile computing with the launch of the Snapdragon platform back in 2007. So over the years, Qualcomm has done a lot of pretty awesome things and the Snapdragon line has continued to advance like crazy every single year. But this last announcement for 2023 seems like it's the beginning of an entirely new chapter in that story. One that's going to shape the tech world for years to come. And one of the big announcements of Snapdragon Summit this year was the introduction of Snapdragon X Elite. That's the most powerful advanced and intelligent platform we've seen. And this feels like a giant leap for the PC industry for three big reasons. Or in this case, three new chapters this awesome story. So number one is the Orion CPU. So this is like the beating heart of the XLE platform that delivers performance so good, it's kind of tough to wrap your head around it. Qualcomm came out swinging with this announcement. So Orion has impressive specs. 12 cores of power to work with, integrated Adreno GPU, hexagon NPU, support for up to 64 gigabytes of fast memory. Even more impressive, this is gonna to translate to an unprecedented level of performance that beats high-end options from Apple and Intel, delivering more performance while using significantly less power. In all fairness, what Qualcomm did show in single core was in reference to the M2 family of processors. We don't yet know how those will compare to the M3 uh, series of processors. And it seems like you should not be able to get both more performance from less power, uh, but Qualcomm seems to have cracked the code with its Orion CPU. It's also a similar story for the integrated GPU too, delivering best in class performance for integrated graphics that I think hits the sweet spot, perfectly balancing performance and efficiency that can drive an internal display at 4K 120 hertz with HDR10 and even support for triple UHD displays or one 5K and two UHD displays. ARM on Windows has been around, but what's new is Microsoft's commitment to the platform. Even the Microsoft CEO made an appearance via video uh, at the summit talking about Microsoft's commitment to this platform. And it appears this is going to be really one of the new ways of Windows moving forward. So the second big part of the story, or second chapter, is an intense focus on on-device AI. So the XLE platform is built with the future in mind as more and more parts of the Windows OS and third-party apps sort of move to heavily integrating AI and they're going to demand local processing. The X Elite is going to handle everything thrown at it thanks to its dedicated AI engine built in. And this is sort of where what we saw last year at Snapdragon Summit set the stage for what we have this year. I mean, you can't go anywhere without AI being thrown at you. And if you're looking at a platform that's going to be set up for the future, AI has to be a big part of that. And that's going to mean things like more AI applications sort of move from doing their own computing in the cloud to actually on your machine. 
you're gonna notice a huge increase in how quickly these tasks are accomplished. And also they're gonna be way more secure running on your device instead of some server somewhere in the world. So you could be completely off the internet and still be able to do all these really heavy AI processing things. And there's a lot of like AI stuff happening you might not even realize. You don't have to ask your computer to generate an image, but just like hopping on a video call, uh, AI is working hard behind the scenes to make your video look better, to cancel out external noise around you, make your microphone sound better, and also just deliver an immersive experience, not just for meetings, but also when you're like kicking back and watching movies, AI is hard at work sort of optimizing that video feed that you're watching. And finally, chapter three uh, is mobility. An area where Qualcomm and Snapdragon uh, have shined for decades. This is like the essence of their DNA, ensuring that you are always connected. So the XLeap platform is packed with the greatest and latest technology in the mobile connectivity. Wi-Fi 7 support is here for insanely fast speeds over Wi-Fi, of course. Ultra-fast 5G connectivity keep you connected wherever you are. The XLE platform also unlocks sort of the full potential of camera and audio hardware, kind of pushing it to help you look and sound your best from a hardware level, with the help of, again, the on-device AI processing that the XLE was built for, and also delivering really awesome battery life. It's going to allow you sort of full flexibility and time with your workflow, form factor, and freedom to sort of get all of this not be tied down to a power outlet. And listen, I can show you charts and graphs all day. It's hard for you to explain just how big a deal this is. So sort of being in that room watching the announcements unfold, there was a sense of kind of excitement and genuine surprise from an audience that hadn't sort of experienced this in years. And it is abundantly clear that this modern tech we know and use every day would not exist without Snapdragon. The platforms have revolutionized the mobile and PC industries, and it's easy to sort of look back at key moments when everything changed with sort of a few years of distance. But I can tell you right now, this is a moment that I don't think those in the computing world will ever forget. We'll be writing books about this. Talking about it in a school class, it's one of the key moments in the tech world. And Qualcomm and Snapdragon have unlocked incredible potential to continue to drive industry forward with breakthrough innovations that will change the way we use computers, I think forever.